one, we are here against Boston. Sorry, against we, we are Boston University against New Jersey Institute of Technology, Highlanders Valorant. We're looking to get our first map on the way as the Cherries prepare for their third game of the Collegiate Star League season. Joining me is Wes, a former president of the BU Game Club, and Ryan, a current senior at BU. Hello. Hello, it's so great to be here. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, where's this stream? <laughs> what? It, there, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a delay. Yeah, oh. we, get, we, we get to stare at uh, yeah. <laughs> A white the, the, screen. the white screen. The the beautiful spectator white screen uh, during agent select. There is stream delay, right? You said ninety seconds. Ninety seconds. Yep. Cool. As according yep. to the C Star League rules. Hey Ryan, you don't want to look at uh, Joe's white screen. So he's not going to stream that to you on Discord. Well, that's just a shame. But yeah, going into this match, we have two new roster additions in Optimum and DNL for the side of BU. So they're going to be looking to make an impact early on in the match as the Terriers are fighting for their first win this season. Do we know anything about uh, the ranks on NJIT's side? In terms of NJIT, no, we were unable to uh, scout them out as Valorant does not have a streamlined way to uh, find ranks unless they are users of, I think, like Overworld or Blitz or one of those services. <clears throat> Both teams taking their time uh, in this Asian Select, but we hope to be on our way sooner than later. Yeah, I hear the music still. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do not hear audio. Oh, I, oh, heard oh, 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 oh. I heard a gun come out. It's... I did hear a gun. I see the words bind. All right, there we go, except we're on Haven. Uh. Joe, please turn on the stream for Ryan in Discord. It is on. All right, looking at the, uh, the setup. We have uh, double smokes coming out from Boston University with Optimum on that brimstone. This is a new composition we haven't seen yet on the BU team. So hopefully we see some positive changes for the crew. Yeah, Falsha can get some aggressive angles with his off. Their CT side should be fine, but initially it looks pretty weak given that uh, NGIT have Phoenix Breach. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, oh boy, first kill. Ryan still can't see anything, by the way, Joe. <laughs> what? You're not streaming in Discord. Uh, peanut damage, taking out two of the U players as they push up to get aggressive mid control. Cypher caught with his knife out, going down to peanut damage again, triple kill for him. And JT will be taking A, this pistol round's looking pretty doomed. And Ryan is still yeah. blind. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, my, my Discord says it, it, it is live. It doesn't say on Discord that you're streaming anything. Interesting. You gotta love to see the technical errors. Well right now we have a two man retake, uh, yeah, while we right. try to address this issue. But, Optum finds one. Unfortunately, uh, as Wes implied, that was a rough pistol round for the Terriers. Yeah. Okay, I just started streaming too and he doesn't say live. I think you have channel settings. Something in oh, this channel. Oh, like, not yeah, let us yeah. I see. Yeah. Give me a second. Peanut damage with a really good 4k. Giving him a Vandal and full armor and his ult into round 2. That's insane. Brad, what are your thoughts? Um... <laughs> That's having no visual whatsoever. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Huh. <laughs> please, please bear with us as we try to address these, uh... Small technical difficulties. Yeah, we have, a uh, A third of our casters cannot see the match happening right now, which is... A little difficult, but, you know, we take those. I'm gonna have to use all five senses and analyze Smoke this down. game. Smells like Boston University is gonna have a little bit of trouble with this uh, this next round. NJIT is slowly walking up onto a... Cypher has nothing set up, so this should be a pretty simple take for them. The superior weapon's just a classic. He might probably got a cheeky right click on the head here, but... Definitely heard the spike drop. Views rotating over right now. 
Smoke star, he does dink peanut damage, but it's not enough to kill him. Classic PP. Spike planted. Like planted for NJIT. It's just this is kind of doomed. Like maybe get one or two exits on the other side, but and just dude, peanut damage is padding his KDA right now. This dude is eight and one. I don't know what to tell you, like. In. And he gets a face. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a bloodbath with only with the only pick on view side being from Optimum, but this squad is not giving up yet. No sir, oh. no siree. Ryan should has visual now. Yeah, so we we, we apologize for the for the delay, chat, but we we fixed it. Smile. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally gimping casters before the game even starts. So what kind of what kind of adaptations are we gonna be seeing from Boston University side? Uh, uh they've been they pushed two up C long, which they want to get aggressive control of the map here. So that's the first adaptation. Angle. But DNL loses that trade. There's no trade. He had the superior up and he loses to a stinger. Ah oh, man, dude. They're not responding anywhere, and this this site's basically. Oh, he stops the joke. Jet dashes in, tries to headbutt Optimum. Optimum stands firm. Can he hold this fight? Trades are coming in. Gabriel with the Aries about to come down the cipher, and it looks like the C hold did work out for them. Looks like Boston University is gonna find a break that they need. Yeah, I spoke too soon. gonna pick up the TK. We're gonna see Cypher sneaking up. What should have been an easy 3v1 is now a 1v1 thanks to the ponytail that is Breach. Mr. Kinky Buns, will he catch this? He does not. Escalara finds him. Wow. Just just an excellent yeah. shot there. Really, putting... really clicked on his head, right, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just did an excellent job finding the target, but you know what? Wait, he stopped the 1v3. And that's what we want to see come out from that's these boys. True. BU did win that round, but their eco is very bad given the fact that they, uh, you know, died. But we take those. We're on the board. Uh, looks like another Ares coming out for Gabriel and a Bulldog for Falsha versus the full rifles. Aside from Mr. Kinky Buns on NJIT side, BU is not taking any more aggressive control of C Long. They don't want to to throw their weapons away. They're holding a pretty standard default here. Gabriel with a cheeky angle. If Phoenix makes a sound, I guarantee you he's gonna start gunning down that wall. They could owe some money. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, Wes showing his roots as a former Quest from student. Oh, you know it, dude. For those of you not acquainted with Boston University, I am a uh, business major. Uh, yeah, not much more to add there. Very cool. We all love money. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, NJIT grouping up for an A push. They're running into the stuff of Cypher. Escalara's tripwire is going down. He only has one more trip A short. He has no rotate coming over. He hasn't called for anything yet. So if he, ooh, Reyna does get a pick on the opposite side of the map. NJIT is forced to commit on A here. So. No more charges left. It's like Escalara's gonna. Okay. Disadvantage position, trades one for one. 30 seconds left. Retake in favor of BU here though, Spike doesn't go down, 25 seconds left. Falsha has a pretty good position into Spike short. Planted. Almost gets blinded by his team there, clears out heaven, his optimum goes down. He has one flank here, remaining. huge. Wait. Uh, I, so it looked Garvin's like, gonna, yeah. Yeah, Garvin looked for, went for a TP behind into Hell, and DNL takes him out, so beautiful retake from BU. Uh, again, money looking pretty bad given that everyone died, but at least everyone on NJIT died as well, so they shouldn't be able to force up stuff. Yeah, we might see a half buy coming in. Yeah. If they have a good read of the eco situation, they definitely should force versus BU, because if they can break him here, uh, it's going to be rough. Yeah, but good job on the retake, though, by Boston University, taking advantage of having just more people alive to set up favorable trades. More people does tend to do that. Yeah. Facts. I see some DNL fans in the chat. 
as the cam is on him, ulting down C long. Let's see if he'll get a pop off 5k here. He, you know, being very aggressive with his play so far in this match, looking for a deep flank as Escalera finds his first. Ah. Unfortunately, you know, uh, does Dino. lose the duel there, but still 4v4. NJIT looking again to play into that cypher on A site. Uh, the only sentinel on the BU team sees the camera, shoots it down, should be calling over for a rotate soon as NJIT group up on A long here. Yep, Falsha's walking over. NJIT sends smoke onto A. Ults into heaven. Escalar goes down, Falsha 1v4 on site. Leaves with the camera, Falsha dashes into the wall, dies. 2v4 retaker and BU is going to be really rough, and I think Gabriel's going for the save. Yeah. What do you think of that uh, aggression, Ryan? From BU well, on C Long? Uh, to me, it, I, I think uh, should have aimed a little bit more to the heads. <laughs> and, uh, <you> know, <laughs> With the flank, I feel like we had we had the opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, it just didn't didn't come through with this round. So we're gonna have to be playing a lot slower. We're gonna have to be saving these guns. Uh, you know, a wise Chinese philosopher once said, "Eco more like peepo," and I think that's something that the Boston Univ University members are gonna have to think about for the following rounds. Yeah, I think that was in uh, Sun Tzu's book, *The Art of War*. I I do believe you are correct. Yes. Yeah, but uh, perhaps see the uh, breach from NJIT stopping that flank from DNL. I think if DNL gets that uh, that flank off, we see a different outcome from that previous round, though. But this game is still within the use grasps, so being only down one round, uh, two to three so far. Yeah, I definitely think it's the right idea to get that aggression going. Um, Haven, no I prisoners. Mean, yeah, like if CTs can get aggressive with three sites, it's so hard like to rotate quick from C to A and. NJIT seems to be abusing that by getting the pick on C, spreading BU's defense thin, and then executing on A. So then again, BU forced on to less than optimal. If Gabriel can get this kill, he does not. It's just optimal. The Phantom in a dream. Now it's just Falsha with the Vandal in a dream. In a 1v4 situation. He has no idea where they are. He thinks they were going to pile on A, but they pull a fast one on him. Let's see how big his dreams are. Yeah, um... I don't know if the uh, regression there was the right call this time around. Uh, I, I feel like it's a play like that, just walking out of spawn, is something you can't really overuse. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> they need to look for different ways to uh, take control of the map, you know, maybe contesting short or Falls garage. Get caught with this knife now. Oh, finds the pick on the ghost. Oh, and... man, you hate to see it, dude. The dash into the wall again. Yeah. That's rough. Dino opting to float over to what seems to be B site instead of A, where he was last round. Um, wonder if they plan to continue stacking three at B. I think that's a little ambitious. I would like to see one potentially rotate to garage. It seems like their omen is about to push that lawn area. Obviously, it's easy for us to say this seeing everyone, but... Uh, yeah, I do like that to use changing it up a bit. They they played one in garage the past couple rounds and two and long. And there's the opening out. That, oh, Escalar going huge. Drops the spike. Pops his cage to get some uh, cover there. Falsha, another kill. Rotation from the members of BU. Uh, converging on to what seems to be A in mid right now. As uh, two members of NJIT are going to be in that B window. And they're going to have a crossfire set up outside this window. If anyone chooses to peek. Yo, give me that jet op cam right now for NJIT. Let me, let me see right. this. I want to see this guy pop off. <laughs> ghost. <laughs> You're using the wrong gun, dude. The ghost is a pistol. Gabriel yeah. pops. Oh, takes his head off. Will he expect the jet? Close right. Maybe not. Ghost having no indication of Falsius position as the clock winds down to 43 seconds. 2v4 is definitely very doable given, again, there are three sites. You can only afford to leave A unintended because that's the only sentinel util they have right now. They have very aggressive positions, so they know they're leading B. 30 seconds left. 
We'll see if Optimum can hold down C by himself. He's playing a very passive angle on uh, Platt. Smoke stops the off peak. I would save if I were NJIT here, but looks like they're going for it. Camera goes out from NJIT, so BU knows they're actually Escalera has the line up, and Optimum takes him out. Beautiful, beautiful defense from BU. Yeah, I think the the early picks from Escalar on A really helped uh, give you the confidence to call call the right rotates and not really be afraid pushing into this team. I mean, it's it's easy to play more cautiously when you're down a couple of rounds, but uh, I really like the confidence that that they showed. Thanks. Yeah, uh, definitely wanted to see the ops coming out uh, in my solo queue experience. Though using the up gets you flamed by the enemy team. Uh, they call it a crutch, so it's a lot of psycho de psychological damage to the BU players if NJIT decide to engage in this sort of tactic. Cypher <laughs> cage for the cross. Uh, locks onto the enemy Cypher's head through the walls. As we can see, that's pretty obvious that Escalara is kind of a uh, sus right now, but they walk up onto my door. What we see? Fast A execute. Escalara is by himself and lock goes down and sights theirs. Uh, also, answering a quick question in chat that it is just the A team playing today. We are watching the A team currently play. I know. Does that Cypher still go off? It does still go off. Yeah. Uh, NJIT demands BU offers their feet as the entire team is knocked up by their breach. Knives coming out. Catches in. No luck. But it's coming out on top. One for one. Ebro opens the classic. Two bullets. And finds the last kill. That was just a lot of crossfire, but it looks like Boston University is going to be doing that one. That, that is what we call a... a oh, Gabriel with teabagging. See, this and is a the very strategy at Boston University is you know, going to be using here. I, I think if Boston University was able to get, I believe, three ults out of the NJIT team and still come out on top, I think uh, that, that spread was a little deserved. Yeah, BU did use their Grim ult, which was huge. They did. They, used, they used Grim ult. and Jet. For that, uh, I think it's even more uh, demeaning because Gabriel is, in fact, the bottom frag and clutching <laughs> that out in the 1v1 versus their top frag. With the and classic. Tea bagging. By the way. Yeah, with the classic. And T bagging with the salt spray. You know, NJT uh, is going to be molding, as they I, say. I'm, I'm, I'm not familiar with your uh, terminology of, of uh, T bagging. I'm only familiar with the tactical crouch. Oh, oh yes, yes. The for sure. Oh. Boston University is opening up the. The, the spray plus tactical crouch combo is it may play out to be a double-edged sword Gabriel's literally feeling himself after that uh, tactical crouch <laughs> because he kicks the head off of NJIT's offer insane crouches into their heads NJIT now grouping up for a C push BU is unaware because they have yet to take control of any other part of the map they do have I believe that's a BU camera in grass that looks into there so we have the two people the, grouped up. i believe peanut damage from njit did grab the ultimate orb there so gabriel might have been able to hear him so it looks like as he uses the oh, nope nope cancel it optimum does find the trade but he'll be gunned down by phoenix again again peanut damage having the game of his life to peanut damage heads but it's enough Falsha finds the refund another head taken up by Falsha. Beautiful smoke, and come down through the smoke. Oh my god. The Cypher will too clutch out the round. Looks like Boston University has found what they needed to bring. What? Now, you know, it's just, uh, we're gonna be looking at adaptations, evolutions. We're gonna be seeing what kind of new strategies come out from both sides of the team now that the tides have turned. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that, um, BU has been able to get their econ going. The, the rounds that have been won, we've been able to full buy. Um, the rounds after that usually have at least two people alive, so... We see both teams are hurting, but definitely favoring BU. Escalara, again, favoring that off. Playing A every round. Uh, I wish he would pass that around a little bit, and maybe move that around to different sites, but we'll see if NJIT adapts. Escalara going for an early pick on uh, a short, but we'll get caught out by the breach as the rest of the team seems to rotate on over. Let's see if Falsha can perform another 
Miracle triple kill on the retake. Peanut damage again, sprays two through smoke. Man, these double flashes from NJIT are absurd. Spike planted. You know, it's it's one thing to peek into when half the site is smoked, but it's another when you have a rain of flash, phoenix flash, rain of flash, phoenix flash, breach flash. Right here. Right here. And that's what we call annoying. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Aware? Definitely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping yeah, with the yeah. drop shot. <laughs> Finds me to damage. <laughs> yeah. Gabriel going for the Batman kill right there, as yeah. uh, we call it in the industry. I uh, think that's uh, a bit more of a moral victory than anything, finding sure. a peanut damage uh, underneath a heaven. Yeah, peanut damage is literally having the game of his life. Fun pull up the tab again. I believe he's sitting at 21 kills. Yes, and his. Second frag, Omen with six. I think if we uh, do some quick math, we can see that peanut damage is more than his entire team's kills combined. I can confirm that 21 is in fact greater than six. Yeah. Plus six. Out of fingers, plus five. Plus... N no, uh, m m plus four, plus two, uh, ten, sixteen, Joe, eighteen. Right. Yes. Joe, we're right. That's <laughs> 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 there, buddy. I am a graduated student, so... I can't oh, there's, there, there's, there's a reason I dropped my math minor. Mm. Hey, question doesn't require you to do too much math after finance, so, you know, yeah. it's kind of nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is unfortunate, though. You do run out of fingers and toes after 20, so don't, don't rely on me to count higher than that. Ghost finds an op pick onto Jump DNL over. on c -Law. Another Phoenix all coming out from NJIT. I feel like it was just like one round ago that this happened. I guess what happens when you drop 21 kills. Will he get Optum? Optum beats him and he kills, but his position's revealed and he goes down to Mr. Kinky Buns. View, try to mount the retake in a 3v5. Spike planted. Hit so Fausto was blinded and then he was blinded. I'm really gonna have to rely on these op picks if you wanna have any chance with this retake. Those, I mean, you know, we said we said we wanted off picks, but I think we wanted off picks from EU, and instead it's Ghost finding three off picks and a classic shot. So, yeah. okay, that was a really weird audio thing that just happened. Thank you, Riot. <laughs> Oh I yeah, mean, right, really it, it uh, has a thing where it says both of the possible voice lines it could say at the halfway point. So for example, it was like last round oh, in the half oh, and then like something else and it says both of the voice lines at the same time. Yeah, that's a really cool Easter egg that Riot, I think, added into uh, the spectate mode to make it more interesting so that there yeah. are more voices. Yeah, so there are more voices get talking while way. we talk, so it's harder for us to get our point across. Do you know what the bulldog waiting in this uh, C window? As he nope nope the omen will back out not take a fight. Right, what would you call this uh, NJIT A long pressure that's happening right now? They're about to explode onto site. I want you to take this uh, play by play go. Um, they're walking in and. Uh... They're gonna do it. Let's see if SMF can get this pick. Uh, if get this pick. And, uh, you know. Uh, I think the play by play is that, uh. Team Jake in sight. Peanut damage further showing his worth on this team. As he finds two picks early. What will get picked by DNL? DNL with a clean headshot. Can he keep the dream alive of making this a 6 6? So Omen, Omen does TP into CT. Well, Gabe, he gave saw it on the screen. On, Gabe, look around, around, I, I, I don't believe around. he saw it on his screen. That is unfortunate. That's just an Omen diff if I've ever seen it. I know. <laughs> oh. like you hate to see it. Inside. Yeah, the, the tactical <laughs> crouch buff that Gabriel had from that one round going into the next one didn't last too long, but uh. And let's see. Find an opportunity to get another Omen tactical crouch and reset that counter. <laughs> Maybe what this game is going to have to rely on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I did say that uh, 
I believe the used T side would be a little better than their CT, so let's see how it all goes. Uh, the good news is, peanut damage can only be on one site at a time, so if you can figure out where he is, they can go not there, and they'll have a chance. It seems they are going to guess correctly, uh, choosing to stack the C site with peanut damage at B. Oh my god, dude. That feels so good, getting your head tapped like that, playing from 13 HP. Falsha does find him, peanut damage is in CT though, will this man go sicko mode? That was like a three-man breach fault line. DNL finds Mr. Kingy Buns, punishes him for fault lining his entire team. This ain't San Andreas. <laughs> Let's see where um, peanut damage is. Peanut damage is in the garage, along with his jet, potentially looking to... Uh... Almost bait out his jet, but jet will not be bait as she finds two. Escalera. Ghost with the ghost, a very deadly combo. It's true. Here on this, uh, this retake. Two v two. One enemy remaining. One enemy remaining. Escalera finds the last pick. Very nice. Bruh, beautiful, beautiful headshots coming out from the BU side. Three k from Escalera. This man's doing amazing. I do want to call another comment from uh, Alvez in chat, uh, saying, complimenting Ryan's play-by-play, -play, uh, referring to him by his more common name of Coach Sasser. If you don't know, Ryan is actually a professional Rocket League coach, uh, currently coaching the prestigious high school team in uh, Somerville. So if you uh, if you want to learn more about Rocket League, please hit him up. His demo is... Uh... <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Exposed to me. <laughs> and they're holding W. And land left clicks. Just the jet left with the frenzy, and Dino will find the last pick. So far, an excellent uh, second half from BU, and we'll tie it up 7 7. University is a different team on T side. This, you know, this aggression is just, it's yeah, just it, too strong. <laughs> it's almost as if having two smokes and two duelists on attack would be more powerful than on defense. Yeah, I think B was definitely trying to uh, take advantage of that by getting aggressive control on CT. It just wasn't working because uh, NGIT would hold W on the opposite side of the map. And BU couldn't do anything to respond to that. We see them again leaning towards C. NGIT seem to have stacked Garage and C this time. Will Gabriel find Omen and claim Omen to fear? There's a small gap. He didn't see it. Unfortunately, Gabe will miss his head. <laughs> That's going to be an Omen diff from me, chat. Yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but he did try to take the extra time to line up his shot, but unfortunately didn't work out. Escalera B. finds one onto Cypher. We have a very messy post-pawn situation here. One enemy remaining. And it's false in the back site against the enemy Omen. Three. Oh. That's tragic. Unfortunate. Escalera finding I believe three that round and I believe uh, Falsi got picked off with his teammate's <clears throat> guardian. Yeah, that was a really messy uh, B tick, but good on BU to seize that opportunity of losing control of C long to take control of B. Um, and then splitting that into a A connector versus C connector fight. Really impressive by the shots Escalara and Falsha are putting up for that. It's so hectic, especially in the close corner when the enemy team has a breach. TNL pops right out straight off the bat, looks for a kill, it gets stolen by Escalaris, but he doesn't get to exactly like do that weird laugh that Reyna does. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> and it seems like this is gonna be a fast C take coming out from BU. As DNL will have that Emperor's Pod uh the share shots heard from the defender spawn as often finds the peg onto Mr. Kinky Buns. But he also will get caught out. Spray. Really looking for that reset on his Empress, but it's just about to run out and he's not gonna be able to do the Patented Reyna laugh. Will he get the spray down? Oh my god. That's a back. That's a back for sure. That's a back for sure, dude. That was back so Yeah, back I mean. For sure. 
Uh, I think uh, before you can get VAC banned, I think we need Riot needs to implement the VAC system. So we have a couple steps ahead of us before you get VAC banned for that. I mean, with, with the play that good and that sus, I, I think it's worth it. True, true. I think we'll be hitting up our friends at Riot soon. But, you know, having a background in uh, CSGO is well familiar with the, uh, the gunplay necessary. Do you think DNL is related to uh, DHL, the uh, <laughs> number one delivery service for international packages? I can't say. Uh, aggressive Phoenix Flash, peanut damage, finds the head of DNL. Ghost takes out Gabriel, and the round's slowly falling apart for BU as they try to hold a default setup. But they slightly in towards C. Gun goes down. Uh, sorry, Spike goes down outside B. Off to him, can't find the kill there. Foul shot stuck. Blind again. Oh, my. Blind's peanut damage. Insane movement from Foul shot. Wolfie get the plant. Now goes down to Mr. Kinky Buns from the flank. And that'll be the round for NJIT. That was a that was a really bad start to the round, but Foul shot almost managed to turn that around. Uh, just goes to show the. Uh, playmaking potential that Jet brings to the game. Uh, I think if he screamed loud like Wardell does, he could have pulled that off, but... Oh, true. True. Uh, you know. It is interesting that we haven't seen any Jet revive yet. So. Yeah, I think that they're like... Of... I, 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 I don't believe it's in Jet's moment. kit. Uh, unfortunately, the spectator does not allow me to hit F1 to read my abilities, but I don't believe the, the resurrection's in Jet's kit last time I checked. I guarantee you, Omen was yelling, Jet revived me after he died to the enemy Omen on Siamang. Execute on okay, so Joe comes out from peanut damage, goes down, they know where he is, they don't know that he's a plat. Comes out for a shot, dash. Knives come out from Ghost, taken out by Escalara. And we're down to a 2 on 2. Retake from NJIT. Uh, slightly adjusting his spike plant position because he didn't like that spot. Gets blinded. We're gonna be using this utility here. We're just going to be smoking up, hot boxing the site. We're going to find the trade, and he's going to find both kills. If I were uh, Gabriel right now, I would type Omen Diff for sure. <laughs> Escalar, uh, sorry, Optima opting not to take the op there. It uh, looks like B was not confident in opting on the T side. That's a little disappointing. I'd love to see Falshark popping off with that gun. Uh, look at the score right now. Peanut Damage is no longer the solo person on the NGI team. Uh, from dropping 21 kills in the half to only getting 4 kills on this half. Seems he needs to find his stride when he can't press W on T side. Let's see if B will press W onto A site. Looks like NGIT is on one will take an aggressive position on short. DNL whiffs the spray on Cypher, but that's all the info. NGIT needs to call to rotate over. Garvin does find foul shot in short with that stinger. Cam does spot Cypher. They have to pull off site, but they have to worry about uh, Omen on short. Oh, huge headshot from Escalara. Cypher will let you know that where all the members of NJT are coming from on this retake. You have to offer their feet for this retake. Omen coming up short, blinds, those hits down. Optimum. Peanut damage finds the head of Escalara. DNA popping off, can't do it. And Actually, the spike never came down. The spike. 1v2 situation. I think we will see the Omen if they're not looking at him. Free kill, free kill. Oh my. Alright, that's unlucky. That's okay, he smoked off. Goes for the bond. Is he going for this? Is he going to go jump through the smoke? The off is going to take Oh, he whips! Gabriel has a chance. Off whips. Oh. Unfortunately, I... Wow. I think he was mid-crouch animation and barely gave him, like, the haircut to uh, secure the last pick. Yeah, dude. Ghost was 15 HP. Gabriel almost had that spray on him when he was in heaven. That's so frustrating. I... Oh, my God. Uh, we cannot see the Omen Salt Shaker on that one. Yeah, unfortunately. unfortunately. I think if Gabriel won that, we would have seen the tactical crouch plus the Omen Salt Shaker into a conversion of the next round. I think he's a, you know, emotional player. He needs this momentum to to push himself forward. Let's just hope it doesn't hit bot team. Get out of my way. Too hard. Yeah. NJIT opting to leave B completely open. Will B be able to take advantage of this? 
Looks like they might. You're flashing no one. Flash through the tripwire. That Scar takes off the head of the inferior cipher in the lobby. And let's see if he can keep this 5v4. Peanut damage though. Gabriel finds two. the trade. Yep. The appetizer's down Finding. for the course meal. Oh. Unfortunately he gets shut down before the bottom of the Goes finding a 2k. Can Gabriel put the block? Same exact situation last Redemption time. Redemption arc. Is this the... Is this season 2? Five bullets. This is season 2. This is season 2. Oh, right, unfortunately, no. Ghost with the Bulldog will clutch it out. <laughs> no, wait. Wait. Is there time? Wait. Uh, oh, the, the, I, I, I think that was close. I think actually if he stuck it, he, he might have been able to yeah, get it. But It would have been less than a second. I think if... I, I, also, I don't agree with him dashing away to save a Bulldog. I, I, I do not agree that either. Yeah. I think you, you stay know. on that spike the whole time because it, it's close. I think it might have actually been defused. It might have been worth it, yeah. Yeah. For a Bulldog 2, is their economy that new? Not sitting too comfortably as most of the members of NGIT are, are buying uh, pistols with the exception of Mr. Kinky Buns with the Spectre. So I guess, yeah, the economy's not looking super great, but next round they should be able to buy rifles. BU with the fast C push again. Peanut damage in the back, but Gabriel will find the opening pick. Finds two on the pin damage as well. Escalera oh, picking off the reach. And you with the decisive take. Actually, so decisive, dude. NGIT is just feeding them kills. I think they're a little upset after that last round. I'm not even going to say it at this point. Someone just type it in the chat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't full clear that corner. That's unfortunate, but. Uh... So Gabriel did come out on top with that entry. Everyone on BU playing pretty well now. They seem to have found their momentum. Uh, we'll see NGIT's omen. Take down Escalara. Garvin, I believe is his name. Can he keep his phantom alive? Falsha smells him. They're running him down. Will they die to the spike here though? They oh yeah, they're aware, they're aware. Bless. And it looks like Garvin does manage to hold on to the rifle. That'll be very important given the state Mass of NJT point. economy here. Yeah, you know, this this game is really, you know, Sun Tzu had it right, you know, economy is just really important. And you can see that BU is abusing the economy of NJIT, you know? <laughs> Keeping the fast plays fast when they know that NJIT doesn't have the correct weaponry. And, you know, you gotta hand it to, uh, you know, BU for capitalizing on this. Phoenix, yeah. joke's over, out of garage, finds Falsia. Trade's going in favor of NJIT right now. Can BU find the free kill here to bring it back? Alt utility is pretty low in BU, Escalar is sitting on 38 HP. They're leaning towards B, they see the jet on the top left. Forced off of that position. Garvin Omenal into Cubby, just to confirm that everyone's there. They know everyone's there. Ghost going for the five course meal here. Oh, DNL finds the pick up unit damage. Look at the second, get to the second. Is this the DNL that Chad has been waiting for? Is this the DNL that Chad has been waiting for? Will we see an ace? Escalar steals his ace. What a selfish player, dude. <laughs> you see, I rotate onto. Uh... C site they are gonna get the plant down as to Tuma, Tuma, I guess, has a I long way to see. He does know exactly where they Yes, he has acquired he their precise location. But uh, as he running towards C, it looks this this long hold though is, is very hard to break, especially with the uh, spikes the shots that up. DNL has been posting where the spikes planted. This is rough. Uh, pan over to the cipher, please. So we sure. don't miss this. Uh, he cage only has a trip bar, no cage. It's gone. It's gone. This game's over. He doesn't have time. He's dead in uh, three, two, one. Oh no no! He, he, I was on two. Alright, well, 
DHL? Here, it's express mail. <laughs> oh man, really delivering BU into their first map win. Uh, it was a shaky start, but you know, I think uh, BU is really showing the, uh, the strength and resilience of playing as a team instead of relying on peanut damage to uh, shoot heads. Like, look at that, eight first bloods. That's insane. This dude's T side is disgustingly good. Indeed, indeed. All right, map two of this set is going to be bind, if I remember correctly, mm. uh, with the choice of side going to NJIT. Choice of starting side being. Team composition-wise, what do you think will change here from uh, the Haven setup to bind? I'll let Ryan answer that. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> The uh, the team composition. What do you think will change going on to bind instead of playing on Haven? Hmm. I'm trying to remember which map is bind. Bind is the one with the teleporters. Uh. Oh wow. So binds you around know, the world. Around the world. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I will say. I would love to see some sage gameplay. I really think that the you know the, the utility of the wall is gonna be. Something worth consideration on these on these on those tight tight maps such as Bind. I will actually agree that I think Sage is uh, one of the more effective Sentinels to play on Bind, given that she can lock down a short completely by herself, throwing up the wall before the round even starts to get that full HP wall going. Uh, a lot of teams don't like playing Sage anymore after the nerfs, but I definitely think she's still useful. Personally, I, I think. Oh, go on. After the uh, the change to the other Sentinels being Killjoy and Cypher in this upcoming patch, I think we will be seeing a bit more Sage play. I think the denial of the passive utility, in terms by that, I mean being able to, uh, I guess, contribute your utility even after uh, you die. No longer having that ability, I think, puts Sage on more equal footing. All right, looks like we are going right into it. No team needing a bathroom break. Uh, if you stare very hard at the top left of your screen, you can see the words bind. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it did the same exact thing last time, but it was Haven. So, you know, we could be getting uh, a curveball here, but because we know the map is bind, I believe it is definitely going to be bind here. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, our those of you viewing will actually see our beautiful match card. Instead of the white oh, screen, they don't get to see the white screen. Point. No, they don't see the white screen anymore. Oh man, oh, I would have completely negate my comment. <laughs> the unfortunately, the last time the uh, the white screen in uh, Agent Select appeared was during our first match against Stevens Institute of Technology. Ah, where... all right, give me a cool shout out to uh, Joe Marino, Another... the other caster that probably was with you there, right? Yes, indeed. A uh, and surprisingly, we were up against a, another New Jersey Tech school. Man, was New Jersey and their uh, Valorant team. Wait, did we win that one? No, we did not win that one. We lost that one to two, unfortunately. Right, well, this is where we bring it back and, you know, prove that Boston is a superior state to New Jersey. Hey, hey, that, 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 that is my home state you're talking about. So. Yeah, Boston isn't even a state, you idiot. Ha ha. Ha ha. I heard a good map. I we're loading it. I do uh, it looks like we have another some we have some Sun Tzu fans in the chat. I really appreciate this. Uh, Sun Tzu. <laughs> Shout out to Sun Tzu himself, whose Art of War book I believe dates back to the fifth century BC. I think one of his tactics, uh, based off of a Chinese period movie I saw with my dad, was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I can't finish this. Apologies with the uh, the HUD, adjusting the HUD there, but we should have the accurate match info up there. Oh, please, I'm really interested. What, what movie did you watch with your father? <laughs> Dude, he, like the commander filled a boat of straw men and, and like sailed it towards the enemy fortress because they were out of arrows. <laughs> Two picks earlier from uh, JIT, <laughs> but uh, V still seems committed to pushing A. And uh, the fortress started firing arrows into the uh, straw man, thinking you were actual people because it was dark. 
and then <laughs> Commander pulled them back to collect the arrows, and then they won the siege afterwards because of those I arrows providing I am, I am a little unfamiliar with what you guys are referencing right now, but uh, we, we have a match in front of us, by the way. Falsy with 3 HP in the dream. D now with 2. Pops the heads off. Calls the rotate to AB. No, all the AP are with dead. 3. Oh my god, this round looked doomed for BU. Look, it, you can't even see Falsha's HP anywhere. It's gone, it's visible. The bar isn't red, it's not white, it's just left. gone. Yeah. This man's living on, like, less than a leg, but BU somehow manages to turn what should have been an easy pistol round for NGIT into a 3v2. Post plant situation. Mm. Do you know, with the opportunity for an ace, uh, last time Escalara did take it from him, but we'll see if the outcome will change this time as the Cypher from NGIT rounds the corner. Oh no, piano damage though. First kill. He's blinds Dian now. He knows him so He finds it. He doesn't have a heal though. No. Wow. Ace, and once again, Escalara is still DNL's ace. Beautiful. What? Oh, yeah, I mean, okay, now this time SR yeah. waited until D. That's true, died. that's true. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a stolen ace, you're right, yeah, you're right. It wasn't right. a stolen ace. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you, DNL. You're like, you're popping off, man. And I, I guarantee you they're referring each other to uh, their in game names and not their real names because there's no way they know each other. Um, <laughs> and, you know, he gave him the chance. He failed. Escalar was like, fine, I guess I gotta do everything myself. Kills the uh, other Cypher, and, you know, B takes that round. That, by all means, should have been an NGIT round. That's insane. That's that is what we call a tactical crouch game. Oh, Where the NGIT is. going for the insta teleporter. Do you know, gonna pass the fast ghost, but we clearly missed Gabriel pick up three, and uh, that oh is a, a 20 second round coming out from Boston University. As oh, we the spray is two on the corpses. Gabriel had a beautiful triple spray down into that teleporter play. Looks like both teams are looking for an any percent on this second map. Shorter. Uh, I think we can actually. If um, no, actually, uh, you don't do enough team damage, so Phoenix would have to molly, and then you'd have to huddle around the raised grenade. I think that might kill everyone. Maybe, no, 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 the breach C, the breach C. So you said the breach C, and then you do all that other stuff. It has to be. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's so difficult. Oh, Ghost picks off Optimum. That's unfortunate. Optimum holding for that probably orb or that shower push, but uh. Trying to make sure there's no one, uh, as it's colloquially referred to, ratting in any of those corners. We see Gabriel picking up the position Optimum was playing. Bu has a preference for bathrooms as Falsha dashes in, gets his head ripped off by peanut damage. Both Cypher spot each other, but however, Escalero Escalar will wins every time. Every time. Oh no! It's like Dino's gonna grab the spike. That's what happens when you turn your back to the enemy. You get gunned down like a deserter. <laughs> I see. Gabriel, ready to stop the rotation. Finds one onto Ghost. And this flash, if he releases it right now, should actually have the time. Does he know oh, they're nope. close? Does he know they're close? He, 30 he doesn't. Seconds left. He doesn't. What? Plant finds it anyway. Takes down Mr. Tinky Buns. Did they but hit peanut the damage coming through showers? They don't know. No, did they Wait, hit that's the not peanut did damage. They... I lied. That's <laughs> garbage. It's a salt shaker. It's and there's salt shaker. the salt shaker. There it is. He's standing still because he's typing Omen Diff into chat for sure. That's... Yes. It has to be. Oh. We're going to be seeing Gabriel riding that momentum for the next couple of Yeah, no, dude. I guarantee Gabriel's about to pop off. Yeah, he 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 was not happy. He was losing the uh, the Omen Diff battle last round. So he, he wants vengeance. Not only a victory, but he also wants the Omen Diff victory. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the one whose screen is being shared, but on my second monitor, I have a little T chart that I drew in MS Paint that says uh, Omen Diff at the top, and on the left it says Gabriel, and the right it says um, Garvin. And Garvin currently has three little check marks, and Gabriel has two, so let's see if Gabriel can even that out. Escalar caught with his knife out, but does manage to find peanut damage beforehand. As B looks to execute onto B.
Do you know? Thirsty for even more kills. We'll pop the Empress. Rounding up around the defender side of the beef. Finds blows. Beautiful spray down. Jesus Christ. Just one, two. Just a master. You know, spray control. DNL really is just a premier leader in Mail Express. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Honestly, he's trying to express deliver BU out of this series and, you know, into what I assume is probably homework when they finish this. He really is. It's the life of a college package. student. Ah, uh, yes. Goes to finding one early on the op as DNL is unable to spread through the smoke to pick up the refrag. Aquaman picked off by peanut damage, and I think it's time to rotate out if you're BU, maybe? Yeah, they... This is an interesting smoke. Like brimstone smoke coming down. Uh, they, they wanted to commit yeah. for that A short play, but they got shut down by the Phoenix ult. Odin from CT! Who would fight? Oh my. Right now it's... Beautiful crossfire from NJIT, honestly. Yeah, they were... They, as soon as they heard the teleporter retake, they set up the crossfire and were able to stop the Yuka push as a uh, Escalar will get caught out and NJT finds their first round. Look like N NJIT really just read that play like a book. Yeah, NJIT tired of seeing the zero on their side of the screen decided to turn that into a one. Let's see if they can convert that into a two or if BU has something to say. Yeah, I think uh, I think BU just wanted to give them a homie stock for those uh, also versed in Super Smash Bros. Uh, it's always just nice. <laughs> Good sportsmanship move, but uh, see if they can uh, prove to me Home it's a homie stock. <laughs> Homie stock sounds like a like off brand of chicken stock you'd find in like Star oh. Market or something. <laughs> you know? I am terrified it, to know why it is so cheap. If Phoenix oh, swoops out. out there, dude. DNL swoops out. Yeah, Can you find a second? Healing. Looks like peanut damage is gonna be retreating. Dude, peanut damage is scared of DNL, dude. These express delivery headshots straight into NJIT's craniums. <laughs> Oh my god, Toma, Toma, with the Ares underneath! Can he find another? No, he goes down. Escalara looking for a corpse, finds a corpse, finds the enemy locations. Does a little hat trick. Spike planted. Oh. If I were NJIT, I want I would like to see their rays drop the op and then alt into sight. Oh. I got part one of it. Here he goes. In the air. What and DNL will shoot him off? Executed by the Oh. Peanut, what, peanut damage for four. four. Can we get can we get like a peanut damage camp, please? When he's like the okay. last one alive. My apologies. My apologies. We, we will. Uh, pr production will listen to that. Your request. Yeah, I mean, um, throughout my experience, uh, both participating and watching collegiate sports, uh. Common theme we see is you typically a uh, one very dominant player on every team, and a lot of matches being decided how well they can deal with said dominant player. And uh, there they were, not able to handle peanut damage as it was too much damage. The uh, the uh, TV advertising personality once said, uh, "That's a lot of damage." Yeah, common theme, like you said, in college esports, you can usually find a couple of diamonds in the rough, but it's very hard given the college student schedule to maintain that level. Cage trigger. Interesting cage coming out. I don't think anything came out of that teleporter. My eyes are down. The spike. I see Gabriel doing omen things, lurking B. Will he win this? Whoa. And Ghost destroys him with the op. I think that's about what you'd expect from that interaction, as members yeah. of BU are still committed to this B push. Falsia finds one in elbow, but Tuma will find Otwum, just peanut damage, finding two more as they clean up the rest of BU, slowly coming back. Tomo and P 
peanut damage have some really nice crossfires on B. Like, I don't know if B is just walking into it without like clearing their corners or using their util, but it's it's kind of disgusting. Uh, Tomo has approached the amount of kills he had in the last map in only seven rounds of this map, so. Fortunately, we uh, do not have instant replay on our stream yet, but uh, production will take that into consideration moving forward. Dude, how can you expect our stream to have instant replay when Valorant doesn't even have a replay system, all right? <laughs> Garvin with like 7 HP, yeah, no way. DNL has his number every day, all day, every day. Yeah. Just gonna. DNL has his number on speed dial, just <laughs> down. That is, a, uh, that is a feels bad from Garvin, though, as he was a uh, mid short TP animation when you got a wall banked there. Alright. For what it's worth, I will be passing the torch of play by play to either Joe or Ryan now because. My roommate is uh, studying, and I do not want to be too disruptive. All right, then. <laughs> it, it is an excuse, you're right. Well, DNL is going to look to W key straight down B long, and uh, DNL re really likes that W key. Uh, I think it's a good part of any Valent player's asset. Dude, when you're playing that good, that's all you need. That is true. DNL is going to catch Garvin as. Garvin tries to flash, however, uh, 3v1 can only do so much. Key I'm saying, the smokes everyone's gonna be rushing onto. I know Same. exactly where you are. I know exactly where you are. Dino is, uh, is kind of in danger. Gets caught up by the breach C. Surprisingly, not getting those shots. Dino managed to get straight. Spike planted. Gonna be having a 2v2 situation. Optimum with the brimstone. Oh, can't afford to lose his life here as it's so valuable in the post plant scenario. As he is retreating to be long, once receiving information, that raise is on the defender side. I can't. <laughs> oh, no. Escalar almost had the knife, but Optimum <laughs> stole it from him. He stole the knife kill. I'm kind of confused how DNL didn't get hit by that breach ult. When he was in cubby, that looked like it was. It looked like he curled his toes, kept himself on his Yeah, feet. you're right. He didn't offer them. <laughs> Said, no thank you, breach. These toes stay on my foot. Together. Yeah. Interesting how he chose to stay in position and die to the uh, the breach C in exchange for peanut damage. I think that was uh, proved to be the, the right decision. Nice contrast to what we saw before. Escalar finds one on the op as Falsy rounds his way all the way around the site. I well, know exactly on the site. Oh, Cypher will there. still end up going through as Falsy looks around the corner. Unfortunately, Garvin does find it with the Bulldog. Gabriel gets peanut damage, the hard carry of this NJIT team. You see a 5k from Garvin, or 4k, he got two already. I'm I'm ready to put Omen Diff on the fucking, oh, I'm so sorry, my language not. I'm ready to put Omen Diff on the tracker. <gasps> there it is. What? Optimum with that Brimstone ult is able to stop Opening this defuse. The yeah. As there's no more time left for NJIT. <laughs> Excellent usage of the ultimate, proven to be so powerful in the post plan situation. As we say, that's a dub for you. I think that is a... Seven Boston rounds on the also side. Also known as W University. Uh, <laughs> short for Boston. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, seven rounds on the T side is pretty impressive on Bind, which I think, uh, in my opinion, is a relatively CT side enough once you get the op going. I'm kind of sad that Ghost is on raise, not Jet with the op, but you know he's still being impactful. And you're really seeing this boss on the T side uh, preference. I keep missing all these great op opening picks by Escalara, but uh, I was distracted by DNL relentlessly pushing down this B long, but it seems like BU has. Some form of momentum, at least on either side, but... It's actually really funny. DNL has done this every round, and NGIT don't punish it. They just... Oh. Okay. Finding a very quick pick. Yeah, Bathroom has not proven to work out for BU. Uh, I think this is due to the fact that the West Campus bathrooms on BU campus aren't the highest quality, whereas... NJIT bathrooms, I think, are superior. I've never been to them myself. Yeah, I, I, I've never visited their campus, so I don't have an opinion. But uh, what I do have an opinion on it is BU doing an excellent job getting this plant down, finding two picks in the post plant, as it's just Cypher versus the world. Four for Escalara. Four K for Escalara. I wonder how he pronounces it. Last round for the half. Oh, I believe it is based on the uh, the Spanish word for uh, escalator. Uh, it's, it's it's not it's not I I don't know I I is ojo, but escalara sounds like some other Spanish word I know. It's been a while since I took Spanish class, but uh. Escalera's name has six A's. I wonder how many he refers to. Uh, actually, his name has seven A's, but six at the end. Okay, and that's uh. <laughs> Do you know, not pushing uh, B long as two members of uh, NJIT are sprayed through the omen smoke there. Peanut damage trying to fall early with a beautiful headshot. Peanut damage putting a little peanut in Falsir's skull. <laughs> <laughs> but DNL found an early pick on A site as the breach looks to peak. DNL wants none of it as the terrorists make their round to A site. DNL is literally no kinks. Escalar ready if peanut damage decides to leave that corner with the tightest of angles. Dude, Escalar and peanut damage are so close. Kisses him right into his heart. <laughs> yes. It's a really nice hold from Switching sides. Escalara. It just shows the versatility uh, that the AWP is in fact a crutch, and if you use it in solo queue, you deserve uh, any amount of flame that comes to you. So I have been informed by a member of chat that Escalara refers to ladder or stairs. There you have it. I, I did remember it referred to a Spanish word, just didn't remember enough Spanish to say which one it was. I was close <laughs> enough with Escalator, you should have just taken that is one. That is true. I'm... Start our first Which round of the second half. Spike. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to see an early push out from Falsio. Either into the cubby or um, just running straight down. No, they're just running straight down with DNL. Still playing as if they were on the side. And unfortunately, that's going to cost them. They wanted to very quickly say, uh, we are better than you, but it seems that, uh, since no reverse card from the, uh, yeah, <laughs> no reverse card indeed. I mean, with that setup, unfortunately, pushing two down there won't work since they had people on the A short side and the market side, but, uh, had any other, uh, A short push occurred. That was so sus, dude. Optimum just literally gave us a nod to let us know that he knows that there's one in you all. <laughs> like, he's just... He's looking at triple, he knows he's there. This is guaranteed walls. Look at that. Optimum, if you can hear us, take out your knife. Indicate that you are expecting the same speed. Headshot. That's the first shot. Can he find the guy on triple? Unaware of the guy on triple. If he gets peeked by the raise, he hears the raise grenade, but loses the fight to the breach. And the salt shaker coming out for Mr. Kinky Buns. Gonna see how that affects. Our omens mental. Uh, I know personally that 
Coach Sasser is capable of talking very loudly given some past interactions with him and his very beautiful roommate, Alvin. Uh, I believe chat is complaining that Coach Sasser is a little quiet. Uh, I would definitely love to hear a louder cast from Mr. Sasser. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I, uh... Oh my. Spike planted. Spike goes down for NGIT as BU decides to gamble a B site push. It does not uh pan out. And they are now denied the ability to see when they try to look into the site. Escalar and Optimum both finding one. Mollied off the spike and blinded. Can he find a kill here? Does not. It's just Gabriel, a ghost, and a judge. Just do it. And no, a dream! No. That dream will be sh surely snuffed out by ghosts. Ghosts are known for snuffing things out. Like candles. Like, can like candles, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say like candles. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have anything else. I. What, what else? Like a lantern, like an oil lantern, you kind of like blow right out here. the flame, I guess. Like, like maybe. Joe, what, what other things do ghosts snuff out? Uh, I, 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 I couldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <clears throat> do you know looking to press W straight down shadows with an omen smoke to support him? He's gonna alert the enemy team of his presence with a grab of ult orb, yeah, wasting some time. Knowing that one player is watching the site. Cool. He's uh, playing some footsies Ooh. with peanut damage there. Bathroom looking very dangerous. This... Maybe it's time to find another one. <laughs> <laughs> there are... Uh... How many old dorms are there on this map? Just the two, two. right? Two. Yeah, there's always two. Yeah, but he does effectively waste a little bit of time on their push, though. Yeah, we finally get to see the full round of BU with guns. Um... A lot of close rounds with the pistol leading up to this one, but let's see. Both teams taking a very slow and calculated approach. We may see just a sudden change in tempo at any moment now. Well, the double teleport from NGIT is they basically announce to the world they're committing to A. But do you know? Do go out. Falchion did not rotate this whole time. Damage. Do you know? Holding down the site, can he find the picks? Just the one, the two. Clicking all of his left. buttons. Spike oh, does not find it. The joke's over. You're dead. The jokes are over. One and I am looking for the kills. Gabriel with two more does Fine. do his part in the omen diff battle. Alright, you know what? I guess I'll give him a little tally on that one. Yeah, he he, he did get the other omen. With the salt and shaker the spray oh, and the tactical crouch, dude. Every time. That's gonna be a devastating. Hit to NGIT. But you know, let's not forget that peanut damage can take us back in a moment's notice. Dude, I will say that's a devastating hit to the, the viewers because we somehow managed to miss all three kills on that retake. No flame. Uh okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I I I was following was chat I I'm I'm trying to follow chat's uh love for DNL. Uh trying to bias his perspective a little bit, but I I have Forgotten about the other strong members of the Boston <laughs> University team. <laughs> you know, I, I have failed to realize people. that other people can get kills too. Yeah. I sometimes forget about that in my solo queue game as well, but it's an important aspect to remember when we're playing Valorant, which is in fact a team based game. It's a 5v5 game. Oh, feet are being. Falsha has decided to offer his feet. He's completely concussed. Can he hold this? Will he get pushed? He won't. He has. Very pressing in. Finds Garvin. He built him spraying the octopus. Jay will find one of the smoke. But get saved. Salt shakers down. Wait, let's see. Wait, does it come down? Does it come down? He already. Yeah, he already yeah, sprayed. Yeah, oh, he already did. Oh, he did it. And you can see that Gabriel is emotionally, paired. physically, oh, <laughs> in this game here. <laughs> Feet are planted. His hands are on his peripherals. <laughs> his eyes on his screen. As uh, 
One could say, one could say, uh, he, he is a, he is a gamer. And he's certainly gaming. Yeah, both him and Falsia pushing down, uh, Ooh, I like this position. Keeping the tempo up after a... Tripwire in market. So, the members of NJT will be alerted of this push. How did he not see that? Uh, I don't know, he got a little excited. Wins the omen battle. It's All right, omen I'm putting... Diff. It's definitely an omen diff. That one goes in favor of Gabriel. It's 4 for 4 right now, by the way, if anyone was keeping track. Like a Wendy's 4 for 4. The number one fast food deal in the fast food industry. Gabriel executed from behind. And it's oh, just... Gets wow, it's a And I missed it again. <laughs> I, I was... I, I, that's what I get for like nothing in the map. Put this right. one on, when it's a 1vx, put the camera on the 1, because you will never miss the kill. Can I get a true in the chat? Get the clutch. Gets the kill on Escalera. Flashes. Shots don't connect. DNL will pop his head off, though. I will say, the Falch has been pretty quiet this game, but I want to compliment his jet movement. It's been Match pretty good point. the entire series. We have, we have not seen any dashes into walls on this bind map. Yeah, but he also has less kills, so uh, that means the more you dash into a wall, the more kills you will get. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see if Falsha can start dashing into some walls <laughs> and, getting, and converting those into kills. <laughs> uh, as we just talk about complimenting Falsha's movement, we see him doing some impressive <laughs> aerobics. <laughs> inspired by the camera, decides to fall off his top angle. DNL pushing up long with his ult. We will not find anyone as they are all bunched up and short. If you can stall this A push, DNL's gonna have a fat flank right here. There is a tripwire, so they will be notified of him going up that angle, but he's taking a super long route through cave. Joke's over. Really what? avoiding these tripwires. He, he wants to have this flank. Oh. Joke is over. Keeper wasn't spotted. Keeper was not spotted. Did you not know he's here? He didn't shoot the joke. This may be the opportunity for Gabriel. Stops the plant. Stops the plant. Almost trades it onto, you know, but he, you know, does find the kill. Long flank from DNL coming in clutch to stop the plant as it is just peanut damage versus the world. Finds Escolar oh, in he heaven. Just find one. Finds Look at one. Brimstone's health. Brimstone has negative health. Just gotta watch out for those crossfire opportunities. Gets the fix arena. Gets one. He oh finds some and clutches wow. out. Not willing to hand over the series to BU just yet. Gets the spike. Peanut actually opted to go for the plant to get a couple extra credits instead of going for the tactical crouch plus play plus spray tactic. I think that is the uh, the smart move when you were down six rounds. Let's not forget that Valorant can be a psychological game as well. So, taking a financial angle over a mental angle. I believe this is the, the first, is this the first stop we've seen on Boston University side so far? Uh, this is the I, first I don't think so. Casting, so I don't know, bro. <laughs> no, never mind, this game, whatever. We're watching Escalar with the op here. No one's pushing down B long as the major, as we seem to see a split push coming out. Uh, Early rotation from BU onto B site. Uh, there, there's still people there, you know. I think. Well, well, a lot of teams do. They play retake on A, so I think this is mm. BU's taking the gamble right now. They heard a little bit of noise. They'll throw the smoke bathrooms and they'll just back off. They'll be like, you know, we have brimstone. We have play for all. Escalar oh, misses that shot. A little too excited little to pull the trigger. And JIT learns that there's no one on B. Look at Omen and Phoenix on the map. Yeah, th and there's the call to rotate. Yep. Peanut damage and the Garvin are literally screaming. A clear, a clear, a clear, a clear. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away. And NGIT will listen. They get the plant. Unfortunately, you lost one of the biggest tools in their toolbox for retake, which is the Brimstone ult. Gabriel spraying the squid for good luck to try and get another kill through smoke. Jim Charles, smoke. Do go out. He is blind. 
Yeah. He's dead. What do you know? Do you know what's with two? Three. Three. Four. As wow. that will be. Game that four B. Gabriel stealing another ace. From Dude, <laughs> Spinning in front of him. I don't. Defenders man. win. Face the breeding. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful map from BU with a very strong T side. Uh, the raise pick really didn't work for NJIT at all. Uh, the breach wasn't as impactful as it was on Haven. You know, I think that was a the theme we saw on the first map of uh, Haven with the getting super value out of the uh, the breach ultimate. But uh, BU being able, I guess, well, more so the breach not being able to find the same value on bind. As the terrorists knew. find their first win. BU knew that uh, when breach shells offer feet to keep their feet tightly planted into their shoes. That is true. All right. <laughs> We're going to thank everyone here for tuning in to our stream of the Valorant A team versus NJIT Highlanders. Um, please remember that we do have matches streamed on our channel every single weekend. So be sure to follow us so you never miss another stream. Thank you very much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, wrong, 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 uh, wrong uh, social media platform. Oh, hit, the, hit, the, hit the bell notification. Yeah, to, that one. Upload. Yes, that.